Starring Gail Storm. Don't go away, folks. I'll be right back. the cards once, and again, and again, and again, and once more, just for good luck. Now, if that ace of spades is still on top, I will be a monkey. <laughs> 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 now, now, don't take it too hard, Captain. The odds were slightly in favor of the ace of spades coming up. All right. Why, these are all aces of spades. But now that's impossible. That was my deck. Direction deck. This is your deck. Well, I'm certainly delighted you're on our side. Mm -hmm. That was a wonderful trick, I tell you. Well, I've still got the deck with 52 black aces. Roaming little rascals, aren't they? <laughs> I only hope the passengers don't discover they're being watched by a company detective looking for card sharps. Now, don't you worry. You and I are the only ones who know our little secret. Well, if you want to keep it a secret, keep away from that Pomeroy. What's a Pomeroy? <laughs> Two wide-open eyes rampant in a field of wide-open ears. And if she ever gets on the scent... Oh! Hear anything? Not a thing. See anything? Just the design and the curtains. I say that, Macy. What, what did, did you, you find, find out? out? Nothing. His name is Mr. James Comstock, and according to the labels on his luggage, he's been on seven round-the-world cruises. Wow. Must be a blooming millionaire. A millionaire? Hmm? Well, in that case, he'll have to have service with a capital S. <laughs> Thank you, young lady. You're welcome. Mr. Comstock, I'm Susanna Pomeroy, the social director. Well, I don't mind being social. Well, good. Because a fascinating passenger is simply fascinated with you. Female? Very. Well, why keep the lady waiting? <laughs> Darling. Uh, Miss Albright, may I present Mr. Comstock? Charmed. Devastated. If you two would like to play shuffleboard, I'll be happy to drop a few stitches for you. And I've never played, but I'd like to learn. Well, I'll be very glad to teach you. Excuse me. The employees will please confine themselves to the duties that have been assigned to them. Yes, sir. That, that's exactly what I was... Some other time, please. I just remember that I left my drip-dry shirt drip-dry. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Mrs. Brown? Now, that's a nice hand. <laughs> well, Mr. Comstock, anything to report? Well, they're all so honest, it's a wonder anyone wins. Well, there you are, Mr. Comstock. Wasting your time on a jigsaw puzzle when you could be playing poker with Mr. Buff here. I'm sorry, but I don't play cards. It was just a friendly little game. I always lose, so you're sure to win. <laughs> but I never played poker in my life. Oh, that makes it more fun. We'll teach you. <laughs> I hate to play with beginners. I might accidentally win. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure you will, if I know Mr. Comstock. <laughs> now, two pair, you see, beats one pair. Mm -hmm. And uh, three of a kind beat both. Mm. You got it? Well, I get that all right. But why does a plush beat a straight? That's a very intelligent question, and I'll tell you why. Because... <laughs> why? <laughs> well, you see, a flush is... Well, a, a, a straight is... is a... <laughs> well, it, it just does. <laughs> yes. Now, um... Oh, I know. Uh, you should deal, Mr. Comstock, so you can get used to handling the cards. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 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 
Here, I'll help you. Thanks, there I'm all thumbs today. Yeah, it looks you'll get better. Shame to take your money. Oh, it won't be much. Not at a penny a chip. Or do pennies mean as much to millionaires as non-millionaires? Hmm? They mean more. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you see, you, you must let the person on your, uh, your left cut the deck. Oh, thank you. Well, you see, I'm an old hand at the game. Yes, I can see. <laughs> you be my hobaloo colossal friend in the spring. I'll be your flopaloo colossal apple and buy a ring, my honey, my. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Well, that's enough. Five to a person, then. Yes, uh huh. Five. I got carried away. You do it. Flopaloo. I'll send you a copy of that. <laughs> you love it. Uh, oh, uh, now, but you arrange your cards, remember? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. See, um, why don't we raise the stakes? Make it uh, a dollar a chip? A dollar a chip? <laughs> the moment my back is turned, you get dragged into a card game, Henry. And with strangers, no less. On the contrary, madam. It was my arm that was pulled out of its socket. <laughs> Can't I play just this one hand? No, you cannot. <laughs> Ooh. Well, my dear. I insist you play it. <laughs> Unless they're pikers who want to drop out. Well, I'm a piker and I, I drop out. <laughs> I bet a dollar. How about you? Of course. I'll donate a dollar just to keep peace in the family. There you are. Well, I'm out. <laughs> You want me to help you play your hand? Well, I could sure use a little help. All righty. Uh, how many cards for you, Mr. Buff? Uh, we'll take three. Um, no, we'll take two. Uh, no, we'll play these. Yes, we'll play these. <laughs> mm, how, how many for you, Mr. Comstock? Well, I think I'll play these, too. <laughs> Um, would you excuse us for a minute? Come here. Come on. You can't play this. You haven't got anything. So I'll lose a dollar. Then his wife won't put him up tonight. Well, I mean, you haven't got anything yet. Oh. Now, you see, you keep the ace yeah. and queen. And ten of spades. Then what? Well, then, if you should draw the king and the jack of yeah. spades, well, you'll have a royal flush. Is that good? <laughs> this is my favorite play. Drawing to a double inside straight flush. Well, I guess you know what you're doing. <laughs> well, now, uh, we'll take two cards. Yes. Do you mind dealing me my two cards? Not at all. Thank you. We've got fifty dollars. You win. <laughs> you haven't even looked at your cards yet. All right, I'll look at them and then throw them in. All right. Do you call or don't you? You win. <laughs> oh, he's so new at this game. <laughs> we'll the. Uh, We'll call. Mm -hmm. We'll call. Well, read them and weep. Straight flush to the king. Oh, no, 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 no. It's no good. No good. Sorry. Would you please show them what we have, Mr. Comstock? Yeah. A royal flush. Play cards with strangers, will you? Pay the man, Henry. And it comes out of your allowance next month. I don't want your money. And I don't want your charity. 
Hey. A fine poker player you are. You can't even win with a straight flush to the king. <laughs> well, that breaks up the game. Oh, thanks for your lesson. And the money. Oh, oh sure. Come on now. Bye. Bye. His first game and his first hand, he draws a royal flush. Wish I could do that. No, I wish I could too. not to win money from them. No, come now, Captain. There's no need going into war, but I'll see that Mr. Buff gets his money back. Oh, fine. And expose the reason you're aboard. I wasn't born yesterday. More's the pity. <laughs> I'll arrange another game and see that he gets his $50 back. Well, now you're thinking. Well, I've had some experience. <laughs> hmm. And it looks like I'm going to have some more. Keep the ship steady, Captain. And then I'll tell the Captain how Mr. Comstock said he doesn't know how to play poker. And pretended he didn't want to take the money. Mm -hmm. Suppose the captain won't believe you. Won't believe me? He has to. After all, I arranged the game, didn't I? And I... <laughs> if, if, if you should want me, I'll be up in the crow's nest. <laughs> I know a lot of places in Singapore, too. Good evening. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. I introduced her to that crook. We'd better warn her about him. And with that glaze in her eyes, she'd never believe it. <laughs> Nugie, from now on, we start Operation Separation. <laughs> uh, operation <laughs> You're a wonderful dancer. So smooth and graceful. Oh, don't say that. But Mr. Comstock isn't a card sharp after all. Why do you say that? Well, he only played Mr. Buff that one time. Yes, but he was... A real crook would have his eye teeth by now. Well, he... he... Maybe you're right. Yes. Well, Mr. Buff, don't forget our poker game at 10 o'clock in the lounge tonight. I'll be out for revenge. And I'll see that you get it. Oh, hello, ladies. Are you uh, joining our game tonight? We'll be there. I'll be glad to see you both. Yeah. <laughs> there go the IT. <laughs> yes. A 
I'd like to get this straight. You two gals want me to teach you how to cheat. <laughs> uh, our steward, Cedric, recommended you. Hmm? He said he was never clipped like he was clipped here. Thanks. But I can't give away trade secrets. Oh, now wait. We're willing to pay. <laughs> Now, what would you like? Hold out, shades, bugs, dogs, shiners, harness, or rings. Oh, nothing to drink, thank you. Nothing to drink? There are ways to take the suckers. Shade work is reading the cards from the bank. Here, take a look. See the marks on the cards? Oh, what do you know? This is a wonderful invention. Hmm. A bug is what we use to hold cards under the table. Well, if that's what they're using this year, we certainly want one. And we got special colors to mark the cards. Mirrors to palm in the hand. A ring with a sharp pin for marking the aces. And the old reliable clip. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful what people can accomplish if they just set their minds to it? Now, uh, how many players in the game? Only two. But, uh, well, they don't know it yet, but I'm going to be the dealer. Here's something that'll come in handy. A cold deck. A cold deck? It doesn't seem colder than any other. Don't you want to increase your knowledge? Put this into the game for the kill. The player on the left gets four kings. The player on the right, four aces. The player on the left gets four kings. Uh, the player on the right, four aces. <laughs> now, now, don't, don't misunderstand us. We're doing this for a good cause. Of course. That's why we're all doing it. I still think you should tell the captain. By the time he looked up the rules and regulations, the game would be over. <clears throat> uh, care for an ace, uh, Mr. Bell? It's a duty. Oh, oh dear. Oh, something must have short-circuited. I better use the cold deck. Let me see now. Four kings for Mr. Comstock and four aces for Mr. Buck. Well, Henry, I feel like this is going to be your lucky night. I hope so. Oh, what do you know? A poker game. Mind if, mind if we watch? Not at all. It's nice to have witnesses to keep the others honest. Say, why not let the social director deal? It's part of the Ocean Queen service. It's okay by me. Why not? <laughs> Thank you. Are you on with it? All righty. <clears throat> now then, first we'll give it a real good shuffle. Good. <laughs> Anything I can do for you, gentlemen? No, thank you, Stuart. Oh, how about you, Mr. Hall? <laughs> Nothing to me, Mr. Comstock. <laughs> thank you, Sue. Yes, gentlemen. Oh, the funniest thing happened at the beauty park. Amy Selkirk began spreading a rumor about Selma Bennett and her dry clothes. I didn't know Selma was under the next hair dryer. But you should have seen that hair pulling contest. When the fight was over, neither one had ever been left to dry. <laughs> well, 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 now, shall, shall we, shall we? <laughs> Addy up, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I'm bearing the limit. 
fifty dollars. Same that you won for me. Well, you're a good fella. I'll just call you. I'm playing these. I'll play these, blind. I've got four kings. Four? Well, you can't have four. I've got four kings. Uh, anybody for a Miss, miss Deal? I know when I've had enough. Henry Buff, have you lost again? Four aces? Well, Miss Palmer, I, may I speak with you a moment? Yes, yes. Excuse me. Do you know what I think? That, um, that, that Mr. Comstock's a card shark? Exactly. And at the very next port, I'm going to have him arrested. Oh, of course. I just remembered. The man said kings on the left and aces on the right. Thanks. And you're the joker. <laughs> and mind if I sit here? We were just breaking up. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to bring you luck, Mr. Ruff. Now, Emily, this is no game for a genteel lady like you to get into. If you'll just... Please, Jim. But speak up, boys. What'll it be? How about table stakes? Blind openers? One-eyed jacks? Mr. Comstock was a crook. Well, let's look at it this way. Now we'll have twice as much to tell him. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. There you are. Look, Myrtle, one back all I lost. And ten more besides. Henry, you won! You brought my husband luck. Come along, dear. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> hey, I never saw such fancy pasteboard work in my life. You were dealing seconds, thirds, and fourths, maybe. I used to earn my living at it. Used to? I haven't touched a card in 20 years. Well, uh, why'd you do it tonight? To protect someone I think a lot of. Hey, I kind of like you. There's your card shop. <laughs> Mr. Comstock, are you ladies wearing your hair nets too tight? <laughs> Comstock was hired by the company to catch car sharks. <laughs> hired, hired by our company to catch card sharks? Wait a minute, Emily. Wait a minute. Well, if he isn't a card shark, there's someone else around here who is. But I don't understand who she means. My official report is that there are no card shops aboard. With my own eyes, I saw them. <laughs> oh, gee, the captain was perfectly right. Uh, we, we have been wearing our hairnets too tight. <laughs> Ladies, I am now going to take a little turn around the deck and pretend that you two do not exist. <laughs> Well, someday, uh, I'll get the whole story. Hmm? <laughs> Meanwhile, it's good to know everybody aboard is honest. <laughs> Bless you, my children. <laughs> 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 